so I'm in the cab of this S770 and I just want to talk through some best practices when it comes to your yield monitor in your combine. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do pre-harvest to make sure this machine is reading yield accurately and maintaining that from start to finish throughout harvest. So first things first, to set our baseline, there's a couple calibrations that are important. The first and most important is our mass flow vibration. This will take the shake and rumble of the machine with no crop going through it and zero that out on the yield monitor so it's not accounting for any false yield readings. So that's very important and anytime you switch heads, I would go through that calibration if high yield accuracy is important to you. Another one is gonna be our moisture sensor calibration. Again, very simple to go through on a newer machine like we're in here. We're gonna go in here and hit start, follow the instructions. On an older machine, it will actually give you a temperature reading. And as long as you compare that to ambient and set it correctly to the true ambient temperature, um, that'll give you that good baseline. But then also once you get to the field, calibrate your moisture first and make sure if there's any fine tuning that needs done on your moisture sensor, that that's done before starting the yield calibrations. So this moisture sensor calibration is complete. We can save that. We've got another video on the mass flow vibration calibration, so I'm not gonna do that today. But those are the baselines. Make sure those are done on your machine. And then, if you wanna do a manual yield calibration, I like going through this grain handling menu. And I'm gonna turn active yield off for the purposes of this video. But with that off, what we can do, assuming the crop is ready, we're in the field, our moisture is set correctly. Now we can go harvest. And what we'll do just before is we'll go to this record menu and then we'll hit start. Now we can fire everything up, go harvest a sample. Uh, and we'll watch this gauge as we harvest to get in this dark green for the best possible weight numbers coming back. Now, John Deere asks for at least three measurements here, a low flow, a medium flow, and a high flow. So any order is fine, but harvest, whether it's a partial header width or reducing your ground speed, do whatever you need to do to make sure that you're keeping that arrow within the low flow, if that's what you're doing for that calibration, medium in medium or high in high not to exceed the max or not to go below the minimum if possible. Try to keep a relatively constant ground speed while you're doing this. Then once this bar fills up to a dark green reading, we would hit done. We're not harvesting anything, so it's not gonna take a true reading at the moment. But let's say we've done one it'll say one unmatched sample there. And then we could click this button that says match scale weight. And that's where we would unload on the grain cart if we've got grain cart scales, or if we're using the truck, we can offload onto there and go get that ticket. Uh, we can continue harvesting without matching that sample. Um, but if you've got a grain cart, that's the, the fastest way by far but at least three unmatched samples, like I said, are low, medium, and high flow. And then once those numbers for what the combine thinks it harvested come very close to what it actually did from the scale weights, that's when you know you're getting accurate yield numbers coming through the machine. But the things a lot of guys forget about is doing that mass flow vibration calibration, making sure your moisture is set very well before you start this. The combine will also tell you the calibration quality. So the more samples you can record and match to a true external scale weight, the more accurate this yield number is gonna be. Now again, this is a manual yield calibration. We'll make another video on setting active yield, which is a little bit different process, but you can always fall back to the manual yield calibration if you're more comfortable with that. 